kindly take to the stage to make his opening statement. Your Excellency. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, an ASEAN community has begun to institutionally come into place. The Committee of Permanent Representatives in Jakarta has been fully operationalized, and the three ASEAN Community Councils have already convened their respective meetings to map out measures to achieve their targets and goals envisaged by the Charter including China, Japan, the Republic of Korea, India, Australia, and New Zealand, and are now exploring the possibility of establishing a region-wide FTA. And early this year, I had the pleasure to co-chair the commemorative summit with His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Korea, to the attention of ASEAN leaders for immediate action. Second, as a community of connectivity, ASEAN will be a region where goods and peoples, as well as investments and, initi and initiatives, can move across the borders without obstacles. We also need to make ASEAN continue to engage with peoples to ensure that people are given the opportunity to actively participate in and feel a sense of ownership in this ASEAN community building process. In this connection, ASEAN leaders already took a bold step forward by convening an informal meeting with representatives from the ASEAN Interparliamentary Assembly, ASEAN 